Hi, Scott Pohl here, three-time USBC Eagle winner. We're looking at the two-handed bowling game. In particular, we're gonna take a look at the ball start or how that ball gets into motion. All right, we're gonna show you lots of different ways. So let's take a look, different ways of starting the ball. First of all, Jason Belmonte. He has a very pronounced start of the ball, much more so than what we see with a lot of one-handed bowlers the ball, a lot of the time, will go vertical before it comes down into the swing. Another example here, Jesper Svensson. His swing is very vertical at the beginning, gets into the timing very fast. Now another example who has more of a traditional shape to his shot is Kyle Troop. This is a lot of similarities with the one-handed game where he has more of a rounded ball start at the beginning. Let's take a look at Jeff here as he delivers the ball. He's a little bit more like Belmonte. The goal basically is to have proper posture. When you start the ball, if you bend over too much forward, you have tension in the lower back, you're not going to deliver the ball very effectively. Or, if the ball is too low and far away from the body, you lose leverage on the shot as well. The key to the start of the ball, especially being two-handed, is that the timing is later. Typically this creates more power and coming through the shot with a lot more effectiveness. Alright, so a lot of great examples. Basically, it comes down to there's not just one way to get this done. A lot of options. I hope you find the right way that works for your game. Get out to the lanes, practice it. I'm sure you'll get better.